Ick, 5150, and the subject is Shane and Rhonda. So, Shane and Rhonda should be killing me. My wife, who's barely a fan, knows who they are, and was very disappointed when Natty and Shotzi actually had a competitive match. She wanted to see those girls demolish Booger and Plastic Heart. Question, shouldn't Shane and Rhonda be this killer tag? They're in the MMA train. They're bigger than 90% of the roster, and they can bring some type of prestige to those crap tag belts. And they'd beat almost all the girls. Thoughts? I'm not going to disagree with any of that. I, I don't know why they had such a competitive... Like, those two together should just be demolishing these girls. Until they run into Raquel Rodriguez and, like, another big girl, you know? What do you think? I was saying this a long time ago. They should be together as a tag team and maybe even reform, like, the Four Horsewomen, since that was their gimmick. Right. But there was one girl that was part of their Four Horse gimmick thing uh -huh. that I saw on AEW. She was brutal, that Marin Safran or whatever her name yeah. is. Oh, you know? Martina Shafir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marina mm -hmm. Shafir, yeah. Um, whatever happened to her? Bro, it's so many. She's on AEW. Mm -hmm. Where is she? Well, it's on Dark. Right on Dark. And, and, and Paige Dark Van Village. Zandt and Lamb so many people that you're like, we're all Lance Archer. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on, bro. Yes, yeah. I agree. Paige Van Zandt should definitely come back. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100 with my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!